this article was coming from uh, Crypto Daily. Um, why is Stella doing so poorly? And why are investors excited about Sparklow? But I'm going to focus on um, Stella. Just a, a brief background on um, Stella before we get into the article. Uh, Stella was the creation of uh, Jeb Mikaleb. He was also Ripple's co-creator. Thus, the Stella network has fast transaction speeds just like Ripple. Um, the Stella network, like Ripple, is meant to handle cross-platform transactions and microtransactions, again, just like Ripple. Um, now, uh, Jeb has been around um, prior to finding and, f and uh, starting up Stella. Jeb is known for creating the Bitcoin exchange uh, Mt. Gox and the peer-to-peer eDonkey and Overnet networks. So I'm going way back, yes. Um, Stella remains one of those under the radar cryptocurrencies, um, but the network is actually used by different corporations such as IBM. Um, but it does not get any love. Um, and uh, don't know why, but you know, this article might shed some light. Um, you know, why is Stella doing so poorly? Um, there are several potential reasons market dynamics in a highly volatile and competitive market. Some cryptocurrencies tend to perform better than others. Factors such as market sentiment, investor confidence, and overall market trends can impact the performance of individual tokens. Now, I will say before continuing that um, I believe that um, Stella's price is um, somewhat correlated to Ripple in that um, they're going to uh, rise together or fall together, in my opinion. Um, uh, increased circulation events like the Coinbase Stellar airdrop may have in inadvertently contributed to Stellar's price decline. Airdrop released the token circulation, leading to a dilution in value, potentially affecting its negative price negative negatively. Competition, um, stiff competition from other bank-centric tokens, again like Ripple. Right, we just talked about that. This rivalry can lead to a divided market and reduce versus interest impacting its performance. Um, now, you know, Stella, I mean, Ripple's getting all the headlines uh, right now. It's it's in a lawsuit with uh, SEC. I think also Ripple has a bigger community um, than Stella. Uh, lack of big major developments. This could be big. While Stella has had some notable partners like IBM, as I mentioned, decision to use the Stella blockchain in the project might need more significant developments to sustain interest and drive growth. So I'm not sure what's going on with the um, Stella Foundation, but yeah, development is um, key to a blockchain's uh, sustained growth. Uncertainty in the market, the overall uncertainty, uncertainty surrounding the cryptocurrency market can contribute to poor performance of individual tokens like XLM. All right, so let's just go to the, the charts. And um, I did a video um, some months ago or a month ago I can actually tell you, it must have been like yeah, about two months ago, and um, well, uh, price didn't do as I anticipated. Um, now there's reasons for this, right? Uh, we've seen uh, the overall market, crypto market, kind of decline. Not much, but um, I think Bitcoin hit 32. I think it's trading at 29 a bit. Um, you know, Bitcoin dominance will, um, if that's in play, when well, the altcoins are going to um, fall harder. But in this case, um, I had anticipated um, price pulling back and then eventually breaking this weekly seller's level at 11 cents. Uh, part of that reason was, if you can see this blue uh, horizontal line, that signified daily buyers. Um, but you know, this is why I do multiple time frame analysis. Um, the higher time frames are going to have more weight um, than the lower time frame analysis. So um, I got this one wrong. Um, you know, price was in a weekly seller's um, level, and as um, anticipated, or as the rules go, um, you know, price fell back, even though it breached the. Daily sellers level 
the weekly sellers level was was had more weight. Um, and let's go down to the uh, daily chart. So this was the level that I was looking at. Look at that volume, so pretty. Uh, but the momentum to the upside took out that level. Uh, price penetrated the, the the zone in the top top 50 percent and then collapsed down now on the way down it formed um, a daily um, sellers level and I'm just looking here you know how far will it go down um, let's just go back to the weekly well let's go back to the daily first I don't really see any levels of interest um, so by default uh, I'm going to say price is going to potentially fall back down to the uh, weekly buyers level let's look at that on the weekly yeah so I'm going to take this one off. Um, now, there's a level here, um, a weekly level, but it's not going to hold because price never took out this weekly level. So I'm not. I'm not I'll leave it on, but uh, I'm anticipating price going back down to where um, you had a reaction back in January and then also in March I will also just put on my daily chart the the daily sellers level um, just to put it on if and when price moves higher I don't anticipate this level holding because there's just too much trading to the left uh, which signifies uh, just equilibrium between buyers and sellers despite the imbalance at the 10 cent level between sellers and uh, buyers so there you have it um, I really don't anticipate I do want to mark this I don't anticipate Stella getting any love in the near future or even longer term um, in particular specifically if uh, there's no development on the platform let me know what you think leave me a comment uh, thanks for watching uh, subscribe and uh, Please like the video. Hope you enjoyed it.